हेलो गाइस टुडेज वीडियो इज अबाउट अ रीसेंट एम सी क्यू विच वॉज देयर इन योर वन ऑफ द पी जी एम ई एग्जाम एंड इट वॉज अ इमेज बेस्ड क्वेश्चन ऑल दो द ऑप्शन गिवन इन दैट पर्टिकुलर एग्जाम एज आई गॉट द रिस्पॉन्स फ्रॉम द स्टूडेंट्स जी सी टी एंड ऑस्ट्रो क्लास टोमा बोथ वर देयर बट स्टिल सम स्टूडेंट हैड अ कन्फ्यूजन जी सी टी और ए बी सी राइट बिकॉज नॉर्मल टीचिंग इज दैट बोथ आर लिटिक लीजन्स विद मल्टीपल सेप्टे राइट सो बोथ आर लिटिक विद सेप्टा ओके नाउ हाउ टू डिफ्रेंशिएट दैट इज अ क्वेश्चन हाउ टू डिफ्रेंशिएट जी सी टी फ्रॉम ए बी सी ओके so it is quite very very easy to differentiate you have got two images in front of you the image number 1 and the image number 2 picture is almost similar <coughs> you can appreciate which one is getting affected here it is the distal end of the radius and here it is basically your proximal tibia but still lesion almost looks like same a uh, lytic cavity big lesion big lytic cavity is there with multiple septae on both the sides so you have big cavity here if i mark it here like this and you have multiple septae like there here also you have a big cavity and with multiple septations here here and everywhere now which one you say is gct and which one you say is abc one of them is abc one of them is gct now i am going to discuss a few points about each one of them the gct as well as abc then we'll come back to the images these two images back to back before i move uh, i would like to just tell you one thing that whenever you have any question in relation to tumors what we should know what i should know what i should know to solve mcq of tumor to solve mcq of a tumor right first and the most important thing is about the location of lesion where is that located is the location epiphyseal is it metaphyseal or is it diaphyseal because that will definitely give you the differential diagnosis the epi meta or di second thing that i should know about a lesion is about the nature of the lesion because in our regular class we discuss why a benign lesion or why a malignant lesion gives you some specific kind of reaction if you know these two things sometimes it may happen that both the lesions might be metaphyseal and both might be having the same nature how should we differentiate in them they help you the third point and that is the special feature of the tumors okay so special features of a particular tumor you should know these three things to solve any mcq theoretically or image based anywhere if you know these three things everything is done okay let's discuss in brief about abc aneurysmal bone cyst first now what i should know what i mentioned here the location of the lesion the nature of the lesion and the special feature first of all you must must remember that abc is basically a benign lesion right it is basically a benign lesion which involves which part of the bone it involves metaphyses right so two things two points the nature and the location now the special points about this apc any bone can be involved but most common locations the most common location if i tell you they are proximal humerus now do mind this proximal humerus followed by distal femur although it can happen in proximal femur also but these are common locations then proximal humerus distal femur and the proximal tibia now these may have these lesions may have a uh, affinity and they may occur in the posterior elements of spine also okay these may occur in posterior elements of the spine so point number 1 the location we have learned where they occur in which part of the body which bones are commonly involved right now <clears throat> how uh, we differentiate that from gct what are the special other features that may have now see that abc basically sometimes it grows so fast sometimes it grows so fast that it may mimic it may mimic 
malignancy so we are often confused again by this point gct or abc now the points to be differentiated basically abc occurs more commonly in age less than 20 years of age the patients are usually less than 20 years of age what does this tell you skeletally skeletally immature patients usually skeletally immature patients point to be noted abc skeletally immature patient benign lesion metaphysis okay so three important things we have already learned coming to why basically this is known as aneurysmal bone cyst because there is a aneurysm a blood vessel related to some blood vessel that is why known as the aneurysmal bone cyst a cyst in the bone because of some aneurysm or some blood vascular supply related to it when we go for radiograph when you go for radiograph of aneurysmal bone cyst you see a expensile lytic lesion basically you will see a expensile lytic lesion right which often and most of the time which will elevate the periosteum okay that means it causes expansion of the bones that we normally say expansion of the bones right but still but still do not forget that it remains it remains with a shell of cortical bone what does that mean that cortical bone will always be covering it well, how much it may expand but cortical bone always covers it this is a eccentric lesion this is a eccentric lesion usually in the metaphysis that i already told you then it may expand to the other areas of the bone right now <clears throat> when you see this under the mri under under mri when we see this lesion how it looks like it looks like a multi loculated cavity and in mri you can have the fine details also and there are fluid levels right now what does that multi loculated cavities means what we say simply the subbubble appearance so a lytic lesion with multiple cavities that is what you call subbubble uh, appearance right i'll not go into much of the detail of this but now i'll tell you how we should differentiate these two images so what you have to remember here it should be a skeletally immature patient now if i talk about the giant cell tumor the most common age group the most common age group in abc i mentioned 20 to 40 but in giant cell tumor the most common age group is 20 to 40 years so that gives you the first hint what should be your diagnosis if a x-ray is given to you so that means skeletally mature patients these are skeletally mature patients so we have here the first difference so if x-ray given to me is of a skeletally mature patient i know goes in favor of gct and if it is an immature patient goes in favor of aneurysmal bone cyst right giant cell tumors some some only points about giant cell tumor these are usually solitary lesions these are usually solitary lesions single lesions right but they may be multicentric also so these are basically benign gct is usually benign but may have a aggressive nature too 5 to 10 percent we say benign aggressive tumor 5 to 10 percent less than 5 to 10 percent we say they go into malignancy also right so um, although being a benign it may show you the malignant picture also so now this how it appears what are the common sites see giant cell tumor it prefers your knee that is lower femur upper tibia or the distal end of the radius okay coming on to this one the proximal humerus which is not here okay number one okay now so one difference we already learned skeletally immature skeletally mature now coming on to the radiography <clears throat> coming on to this the radiography of giant cell tumor these are often the diagnostic in the case of giant cell tumor so eccentric lesion i told you where it will be located epiphysis the difference in two the epiphysis and where does this abc was occurring metaphysis 
Okay, so that is the second difference now. So we learned two important things: skeletally mature and immature. But we must not forget one very basic thing: that rarely, this is that epiphysis, but rarely it may occur at metaphysis. But that is a rare thing. and when it occurs so it occurs in a skeletally immature patients so what are the basic differences that we learned skeletally mature this is mature metaphysis epiphysis 20 to 40 less than 20 coming back to these two images now there should be no confusion what we learned which one is gct which one is abc which one is skeletally immature image see this the physal plate here no physal plate right there is no physal plate so difference this is less than 20 more than 20 location when i say location where is the lesion located if i look at this particular image you see the epiphysis spared here the epiphysis involved here the metaphysis involved so this image is basically your aneurysmal bone cyst and this one is your giant cell tumor that is a very basic difference right i hope there should be no confusion now learn the basics images everything is very very easy learn the three points about any of the tumor every question will be easy thank you very much